Well, an international rights group says a large number of Palestinian child detainees are experiencing violence at the hands of Israeli forces in the occupied West Bank. Defense for Children International Palestine says 86 percent of Palestinian child detainees went through some sort of physical violence upon arrest or later during interrogation. Now, the figure resealed for the first half of the current year shows a 10 percent increase compared to last year. And according to the rights group, the ill treatment of Palestinian youngsters is systematic and commonplace in Israel's military detention system. The group says many minors are delivered to Israeli interrogation centers, blindfolded, bound and sleep deprived. It also says over 50 percent of the kids undergo strip search while in custody. Each year up to 700 Palestinian children, some as young as 12, are detained and prosecuted by Israel. Crossing over to Ramallah, joined by Ayat Abu Ekhtash from the Defense for Children International. Uh, very, very upsetting figures uh, talking about the situation for children. Where's the international outcry as far as trying to protect the children, the Palestinian children, against Israeli aggression? Uh, unfortunately, the international community become more aware about the Israeli violations of Palestinian children. Right. and there is uh, mounting international criticism to, uh, regarding Israel's practice. And Israel Corp was this uh, criticism to uh, modifying its military legal system, like this, the age of majority from 16 to 18, and uh, the establishment of the Israeli child military force. But all these modif modifications to its military legal system has uh, nothing to do with the safeguards uh, uh, that uh, uh, and protection that Palestinian children uh, 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 receive. Uh, so the main purpose of this modification is to show the international community that Israel is improving its military system in order to protect the rights of the, the Palestinian children. So Israel is leading the international community up a uh, blind alley to show that things are uh, improving while uh, things are worsening in the ground. Unfortunately, despite uh, this fact that the international community is more aware about the violations that the Palestinian children are exposed to, but uh, still there is no pressure from the international community uh, on Israel to uh, uh, change its treatment to Palestinian children, especially uh, child. Okay. Thank you so much. Sorry, there's a little problem with the audio there. We appreciate you being with us, Mr. Ayad Abu Ekhtash from the Defense for Children International out of uh, Ramallah.